start off real slow. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of magical. It's kind of magical. You start off real slow, shaking your head, and then you get your whole upper body into it, and then you whip this out. Bam! And then you go back into it. You're like, oh, did he just pull his thumb off? Yep. Bam! Do it again. No, I should start. I'm gonna start a phenomenon. Best dance in the world. So, okay. Bam! Really? You don't care so much about your dance moves. I mean, that is pretty cool. I like the way you break it down. But what we really want to know is, from your last 10 years in the music business, what has been the one thing that you would change about it, and then what's, what's been your most positive thing? Yep. Um, there's one thing I would change about it. It's going to sound asshole, but. I would probably stop writing songs about the rules. For a year. <laughs> Russell Sprouts. For a year. I'll take a year off of writing songs about the rules. Because there's a weird, there's a weird thing when you write songs about girls. Every girl you've ever encountered since kindergarten thinks it's about them. And exactly. And, and no, it's, it gets messy. You're so great. Yes, we are. Cool. Girls. You are. But I am too. So. We're perplexing. Hey, isn't that like That's a, a good, I love that word. I've, I've used that word. I've used that word. I've used that word. And it's one of those situations where I, when I use it, people are like, and I'm like, yep. Yeah. Is that word? I'm an intellectual monster. Okay, so now what's one positive experience that you've had? Oh, right, so I'm about girls? No. Oh, <laughs> my career? Yeah, in the last few years. Honestly, I've got to meet a lot of pretty people. Like, you said about like being surrounding yourself with pretty people. Hi, welcome in the house. The question of the month is, I have started cutting myself and I don't know why. My family and friends are great and I have no real problems. I have hinted to my friends I do this, but they have not noticed and I do not want to tell them. What should I do? Well, my advice would be to talk to maybe a school counselor or something because they handle kids all the time. There's also a great webpage that I found called teencentral.com. Uh, it's just peer-to-peer -peer advice and it's totally confidential. Here's the rest of the cast member. Let's see what they have to say. Just remember, none of us are professionals. My advice for you would be that you really need to stop because if you keep doing that, you're continuing to hurt yourself and over time, People will notice, and they notice that if you are hurting yourself, then you have the capability that you might hurt others too. So if you stop now, and if you don't do it anymore, that means that people won't really notice. And if they don't notice, then that means that you won't hurt anybody. Okay. In this situation, what I would do is write in a journal or a diary and try to get out my real feelings and see if I can figure out what's been really bothering me. And if that doesn't work, then going to your parents would probably be the best idea. My advice to you is that instead of filling that empty space with something bad, that you try like maybe a hobby, like sports or stamp collection or something else. I don't know what you enjoy, but yeah, that's my advice. Hey. My advice to you is to think about where you thought about picking up this habit. Did you watch it in a movie, a TV show, read about it in a book? If you did, why did they start doing it? And what good came of it? Nothing really great can come of having self-mutilation habits. What I would suggest you do now is talk to an adult that you trust. You said you don't want to talk to your friends about it. You don't want your family to know. Talk to someone you trust, a school guidance counselor, a teacher, friends, parents, talk to your friends. It's really important. Even though you don't want to talk to someone about it, it seems like you need to get this out in the open. You need to let people know that this is what's going on. That's the only way that they can help you. It's very important that you do that. Let's find out what the other members of the cast have to say. Well, I have to say that I agree with the rest of the cast members when it comes to talking to someone. I think, number one, you're taking the right step by realizing you have a problem. That's a lot of people's blind spot is they don't even realize that they have an issue. So you've made the first move. You realize you have a problem. Talking to someone else is definitely the next step. You're not going to fix a problem without the support of friends and family. And the fact that you've hinted to your friends that you have a problem lets me know that you're really wanting to reach out to somebody. So reach out to your friends and family. If there's a problem, they're there to love you and help you through it. First, you have to realize that you have the, a problem here. 
I know you said you have no real problem, but really, this is something that is you need to you need to stop doing it. But the way to do that is you need to talk to somebody, but you don't want to talk to your parents or friends. So what do you do? Well, sometimes the best people to talk to are your parents and friends. They have the best advice. So even though you don't want to talk to them, they're always there for you. And if you need somebody to talk to, my best advice is to go see them. In this situation, them, even though you it is want. critical. It's very important that you tell somebody about this. You can't keep this to yourself. You have to tell your parents, or even if you have a really close friend, tell them what's going on in your life. And maybe he can give you advice that would turn you away from this, but definitely you need to tell somebody. I'm going to have to go ahead and agree with Austin Nicole on this one. I think it's really important to talk to your friends and family about it, even if you don't want to. This is a serious problem, and a lot of people deal with it. You'd be surprised how many kids have to go through this each year. And talking to your friends and family is definitely the most important thing you need to do to let them know, because they care about you, and of course they'll be willing to help you.